Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. Is gold still an inflation hedge? Let's explore. That is a question that many of us would think quite perplexing. In this community, we do see it as an inflation hedge, but it has come under question, especially after what has occurred over the past year, maybe even a little bit more. We're seeing inflation uh, running rampant, and it has become recognized by all assets of the economy. And in fact, recognized by analysts far and wide as not being transitory right now. Uh, and so it is a question that leads us to wonder what is going on with gold? Why is it not reacting uh, to this inflation? Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about that in this video as we reference an article here from CNBC. And of course, we know consider the source and consider the psychology of the markets, you know, as is the case. Whenever we see the metals move one way or the other, or really any investment class or any um, commodity, or, or in this case, what we're looking at here as a hedge, as a store of value, these things are tracked by the markets. Psychology rules the day in terms of how they're viewed. And so let's take a look at this and see if we can make sense of it. Gold's reputation as a reliable hedge against inflation is at risk as investors find other areas of the market where they can hide out from rising prices, according to two traders. Um, Laffer Tengler says, I think investors need to think about it differently. Um, Nancy uh, Tengler told CNBC's Trading Nation on Friday, the precious metal hasn't produced a positive return during periods of consistent inflation since the 70s. Of course, what was the 70s? That was a time of inflation as well. And of course, obviously, it, gold did perform because by the time 1980 rolled around, it skyrocketed. The firm's chief uh, investment officer um, has made that point from Morningstar Direct. Since the Labor Department reported that inflation climbed at the highest year-over-year -year rate since 1982 in November, gold has only risen by about 1%, she added. This year, you've seen the inflation hedge really being in the real estate investment trust and real estate segment of the market, as well as stocks in general, Tengler said. We'll talk about that here later as to why that's the case. If the dollar continues to weaken, gold should get a move. But a number of the other metals may actually be better places to play because there's a narrative behind those in terms of uh, planetary uh, decarbonization and green energy, she said. In other words, I think she's referring to silver there. That's an interesting thing, especially considering that silver has performed even worse than gold has this year. The only trend against which gold might prove a successful hedge is the U.S. printing too much money. But we know they're doing that like wildfire. It's crazy. Um, Piper Sandler Senior Technical Analysis uh, Analyst uh, Craig Johnson said in the same interview, he pointed to gold's decline relative to break-even five-year inflation rates. Um, Bitcoin and uh, real estate investments since the start of 2020. Um, I don't think it's a great hedge at this point in time, and frankly, Bitcoin will look better or real estate from my perspective, Johnson said. He added that 1850 will be a key level to watch for gold's price um, as they consolidate. They fell less than half of 1% to around 1797 recently as the Omicron continues to concern investors. It has not really weighed out as much and not translated into what gold would do. Um, so there's a couple of things to consider here in this article that I think they are, they are way off base on. And, and I think it's worth noting that, you know, gold and silver, by the way, don't necessarily uh, react in lockstep to the markets. Now, what the markets do, um, it does not necessarily mean that that's what uh, silver and gold are going to do. Uh, but whereas gold has climbed up dramatically uh, since the pandemic started, in fact, we saw all-time high for gold prices. 
And one can make the argument that at that time, about August of last year in 2020, that perhaps gold was overvalued and its correcting state is, is coming into play now to the point where even $1,700 gold is, um, is considered, well, a massive leap up from where it was before the pandemic. I think that is a perspective that is lost, especially considering, considering what we're looking at with gold. Even silver has performed better now than it has before the pandemic. Um, and so in a sense, especially with regards to gold, which is a more stable safe haven than um, silver, um, it is actually performing, I believe, quite well considering their circumstance. And they actually show a chart on this page and it talks about it between January and December 2021. It shows the levels of break-even five-year inflation rates compared to gold. And yes, gold is, is down, but you look at it between, the, uh, between that period of time um, from, from that it's a break broken even or what have you, you can pick any two dates to make anything say what you want it to say, any narrative that you want to use. They talk about real estate <clears throat> and they talk about Bitcoin as comparisons on where to park your money over the past couple of years here or the past year or so, of course, um, especially Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a speculative investment. Gold is not and never has been a speculative investment. <clears throat> so, of course, Bitcoin is going to outperform uh, because it's, uh, it's due to people, uh, especially young folks, putting their money into something that is entirely and wholly speculative. And gold has been a store of wealth, store of value for thousands of years. Um, it is not meant to just go crazy. In fact, when it does go crazy like it did in August of 2020, well, it's corrected very quickly. And that's exactly what happened, um, just as it happened in 2011, just as it happened in 1980. These highs and these are not really, that's not what gold is about. And really, that's not what silver is about as well. That's, what, that's something that I think most people need to come and understand the hard lesson about what gold and silver is about. I learned that lesson early on um, in this channel. The channel was started essentially out of the auspices that, hey, we could see precious metals skyrocket. And I want to be on board with that. It turns out I learned a very hard lesson that that's not the case. I've learned it through interacting with this community and seeing and talking with traders and the like in person. So gold and silver have different roles, especially gold as that safe haven asset, silver as a commodity. Gold is somewhat as seen as a commodity as well as an industrial metal to some extent, but it is mostly treasured. And because it is treasured, it is valued for what it is as that ultimate hedge against economic instability. That's the key. It's not just against inflation. Against, it's against economic instability, which is something that is um, uh, to be of concern. We, in reality, what we're looking at right now uh, in the world today is uncertainty, but not instability. There's not economic instability. Uncertainty does play a role in the prices of gold, and I think that is what led to part of its uh, dramatic increase in um, uh, August of 2020. But gold is a metal that will continue to shine on no matter what. And we're going to see, I believe, in the coming year, uh, gold uh, uh, solidify itself in terms of its price um, um, in correlation with its value as it comes to, to absolve these markets and understand them and react to them. Where will inflation be six months from now? I don't know. But real estate is a market that is, can be speculative as well. And many people feel that real estate market is hot, just like it was at the end of 2007 and 2008. Much of the same type of um, conditions are there in that market as they were then. Um, and we saw what happened with the housing bubble when it popped. Well, you know what? Gold is never in a bubble per se, um, even though one can make the argument that those big spikes that we saw in 1980, in 2011, and in 2020 could be perceived as that. But it's not necessarily that that bubble pops with gold. 
Instead, it just kind of lets out some air from a control valve. And the control valve of the, of the balloon of, of uh, the prices for gold is something that is not um, unusual. And it's meant to be there. It works itself out. And that's what gold is about. It is a safe haven store of value that will continue to be for uh, millennia to come. I mean, I strongly feel that way for gold. And so, yes, people can say what they want about gold and question itself as, as, as an inflation hedge. But keep in mind, timing is everything. And timing also involves patience. And right now, it may not appear that gold is acting as an inflation hedge over the course of the last year. But um, most certainly, um, it will catch up to what the markets are and what's going on. And it will uh, absorb whatever comes its way. That's what gold is all about. The physical properties of gold are something that is second to none. It cannot be destroyed. It can be dissolved, but it can also be reconstituted. Same thing for its value. Its value can never be destroyed. It will always remain as a constant. And so if you are holding gold and feel discouraged, I hope this video will help encourage you to press on with gold because I believe it is still an inflation hedge and, um, and it will hold on for quite some time. The timing of it against other um, activity in the marketplace uh, will not necessarily fall in line, but it will catch up. Uh, and it's all about sentiment. It's all about psychology. And we live in the information age where things can happen on a turn of a dime and markets can move one way or the other very, very quickly. And so we will continue to um, press on with the gold holdings that we have for those of you who do stack gold. Um, and I want to encourage you to continue to press on with it. So I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch this video. And if you made it this far to the video, put in the comment section below, gold, yeah, that's it, there you go. A multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch this video, and I want to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.